I would like to begin with peace talks. Is this an apology? This is a diplomatic solution. May I sit at the table? Why don't we let her sit down and see what she has to say? Mother. Daughter. I understand that you wanted me at the bakery because it was important to you. You understand that I wanted to do something else that was important to me, even though you didn't see the value in it. Bad road, Riley. You don't care about what's important to me. You only care about what's important to you. It's good to see her again, huh? <laughs> yeah. Really bad, bumpy dirt road, Riley, with no lights and a cliff and some sort of weird hitchhiker with a banjo. <laughs> Turn around now. You say I'm not entitled to feel this way? The name of the bad road is Entitlement Avenue, and right now, you are on the corner of Entitlement Avenue and All About Me Boulevard. <laughs> Guess whose house is there? I've been a really good person my whole life. If you ground me the one time that I do something that you don't like, where is my reward for doing something good on all of the other days? Godzilla's house. <laughs> and look, Godzilla's come to say hello. You think you deserve a reward for being a good person? That we should celebrate your goodness? Would you like a parade? Ooh. I suspect that's a trap. No, it isn't. I think she knows that she's being unreasonable. And I think this is a very big moment for all of the kids in the world. I don't want to see you right now. Dad? You heard your monster. <laughs> Mother. Monster. That is unfair. No, I'll tell you what this is. This is disrespectful. I'll tell you what is fair. While you live under our roof, when we ask you to do something, you do it. Do you understand? But I'm such a good person. How could something like this be happening? I'm just as surprised as you are. Don't be. This is where we demonstrate strength, confidence, and trust in her upbringing that will get her to the right decision. Maybe it's time I didn't live under this roof anymore. Oh, come on, Riley. You're a good kid. Parents pay for that with food, clothing, love, and shelter. Did you forget about that? You have no job, no money, and everything you own, we gave you. Fine. You can have them back. I have $17 in my pocket and my boundless spirit. Okay, honey. This is the move you want to play now? You're about to find out that your spirit has bounds. That's just great, Riley. You just drove off a cliff. What kind of rat hole at the bottom of a cliff are you going to find for $17? Hi, honey, I'm home. <laughs>